Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your local Git repository to a remote repository on GitHub. And we will cover both HTTPS mode and SSH key. Let's get started. So here I have a simple HTML file in this folder. It's just a simple HTML file. Now let's create a repository for it. First, we need to have Git installed. I've already installed it before. But if you haven't installed it yet, you can download it from Git's website. If you are using Linux, you can install it with these commands. Or if you are on a Mac and you have installed Xcode, you probably have Git already. Alternatively, you can also install it from this address. And if you are on Windows, you can download and install it from here. Anyway, after Git is installed, run Git init to create a repository. Git status to see what we have here. And this is our file. Use git add and a dot to add all files to the staging area. Here the file becomes green, which means it's in the staging area and it's ready to be committed. Run git commit with a message in it. If you are committing for the first time, Git may ask you to tell it who you are. You will need to use these commands to set your email and name. Actually, this email address is not used for verification. However, it's better to use a valid email address. Then set the name. Okay, now we can commit. Well, our repository is ready. Let's connect it to a remote repository on GitHub. Go to github.com and log in into your account. Click here and create a new repository or click on the plus icon and click on new repository. Choose a name for your repository. The description is optional. Choose public or private. We can skip this step since we already have a repository. And click on create repository. Okay. Here we have two options for setting up the remote origin, HTTPS and SSH. You can choose between them. And for now, let's start with HTTPS. Later on, we will switch to SSH in a few minutes. This step is to create a new repository, which we have already done before. Create a file, get in it, Add to stage and commit. But now we just need to run these three commands. First, use this command to add a remote origin using HTTPS. And this is for change the current branch name to main. And this is because GitHub has changed the default branch name from master to main. Because the word master had connotations of slavery and oppression. So we run this to change the current branch name to main if it is master. Then run git push dash u origin main. 
it will prompt you to enter your GitHub username and password. But GitHub has disabled the option to log in with password. So we need to do something else. Actually, we need to generate a personal access token. Go to your GitHub settings. And please note that not this settings button. It is for repository settings. You need to go to your GitHub settings. Scroll down to developer settings. Personal access tokens. And here we have two options, fine grained and classic tokens. Actually, for what we want to do now, there is no difference between the two. First, I select this. Click on generate a personal access token. And this is just a note for what this token is for. And here set the expiration date. You can choose how long this token will be valid for. And for selected scope, select the repo, which provide full access to private and public repositories. And for now, we don't need any of these. And click on generate token. Okay, here is the token. Copy the token. And let's take a look at fine grain tokens. It is almost similar to the classic token. Token name, expression and description. And here you can set the repository access. All or only selected. But in the permissions, in contents, you need to allow read and write access for push and pull. And scroll down and generate the token. Anyway, let's use our classic token. But before that, run this command. Actually, by doing this, on the first login, the token will be saved on your PC. Otherwise, you have to enter the token every time you push. Then run git push dash u origin main again enter your username and for the password paste the token and hit enter it is invisible and you can't see it done it pushed successfully Here is our index.html and if we want to update it, okay. I just add a high here. Add it and commit then just run git push okay here is our new commit all right now let's go for SSH. First, let's create a local repository. All right, it's ready for push. Add the SSH remote origin. 
change the branch name to main and here before push we need to do something go to the github documentation for ssh and here generate a new ssh key choose your operating system open a terminal and run this command enter your email address it will not be used for verification but it is better to enter a valid email address hit enter and our SSH key will be created here. Just hit enter. Choose a passphrase or leave it empty and re enter it. Okay, our public SSH key is created here the .pub file. And if you are using Windows, you need to run it in git bash and git bash will be installed after you install git on windows just click on start and look for git bash paste the command here enter your email address Then hit enter. Okay, our public SSH key is created here. And for Mac, it's the same as Linux. Just open the .pub file in a text editor and copy all of it. And go to your GitHub settings. Not this settings button. It is for repository settings, but this one. And in the left menu, look for SSH and GPG keys. Here, add a new SSH key. Choose a title for it. And the key type, authentication key. Paste the key here. And add it. Now we can push. But for the first time, you need to enter yes and hit enter. It's just a security check. And enter the password that you entered when you created the key. Alright, 